I think the train is an archetypal symbol for the rising American empire. The sheer bulk, the tonnage, the power. The great locomotives, when they would come through, you could feel the air moving, the windows would rattle. Some of those trains were as long as the towns they went through. Virtually every major poet in American history has written a train poem. Walt Whitman wrote the very first major train poem to a locomotive in winter. The train was for Whitman, the Industrial Revolution incarnate. The train was both a symbol of progress and a harbinger of the world to come for Native Americans. The Cheyenne and Arapaho had been living comfortably on a large territory of the Central Plains, confirmed by the 1851 Treaty of Fort Laramie. But the U.S. government broke that treaty, substantially reducing their land to clear a path for the first transcontinental railroad. The newly available homesteads brought a wave of new settlers to the region. Military forts built to protect them were breeding grounds for fatal diseases. Angered by the intruding settlers and the death of countless tribal members, the Cheyenne and Arapaho, led by Chief Black Kettle, launched raids on U.S. forts. Civil War General William Sherman, now in command of the U.S. Army, authorized retaliatory strikes. After the two sides declared a truce, a band of 675 volunteer soldiers attacked a peaceful Cheyenne village along Sand Creek. 230 tribal members, mostly women, children, and the elderly, were slaughtered. The Sand Creek Massacre was widely condemned as an act of genocide. As the bloodshed continued for years, Sherman argued that the only solution was to keep moving the Indians further away or exterminate the buffalo and starve them into submission. 